more opportunities. I was able to get 2,500 opportunities for our nurses, both the diploma graduates and the degree graduates in nursing. And we are very happy. We are in the we are on the process. We are processing them, and we should be able to be done by mid of January and be able to send them um, uh, to Saudi. This meeting has brought together the private recruitment agencies, plus the officials from Saudi and the officials from the government of Kenya, from the various ministries, to put our heads together and ensure we do the right thing. We are looking forward to even taking more Kenyans. I'm looking forward to flagging off the migrant workers that go to Saudi Arabia. We are also looking forward in having a desk at the airport just to ensure that we have the numbers of the migrant workers that go out of Kenya and we get to know where they are going to and where they are going to work in. So allow us to allow our teams of officials from Saudi Arabia to go to the various institutions that we want them to see. We want them to go to the National Youth Service to be able to see how we churn out graduates from the NYS. We also want them to go to NITA to see what we do at NITA. We also want them to go to any institution that is associated with this process of labor migration, like the TIGATS. In, in, indeed, it's been uh, the number of private recruitment agencies in Kenya, there are very many. We started with 1998 with about five. We are currently at 600. And we have the representation of all of them, as we've had from three associations, which is CAPEA, ASMAC, and PASMAC. Uh, they all deal with different types of categories of, uh, uh, of job seekers. So, uh, and all our PRAs have uh, the associations. They have a code of contact, which ensures